let's talk about archery. I think archery is going to be a lot of fun in... Which game am I playing again? Yeah, it's Sons of the Forest. Okay, so the most basic way you can practice archery is you find one of these paper targets, and then it's in your inventory here. You put it on a tree. You take your bow, and you start shooting. Oh, that's a, that's really basic. So you don't need really you really don't need a guide for that. So instead of that, you can do it like me and just build your own archery range. I'm going to take you on a small tour in the archery range, and then we're going to practice. Then you can practice archery with me. Okay, so here we go. Uh, what I basically did was try to figure out a measurement system that I can well use to to measure trajectories of the of the arrows. And currently, there's no range finding system in the game, no meters or something that you can use to measure. Well, there's one thing that's a consistent length all the time, which is a wooden log. And a wooden log is approximately two meters, I think. A bit taller than an upright standing humanoid in this game. An adult male humanoid. What I did is I created this uh, shooting range over here. Which means you have... Oh, it's getting crowded. <laughs> so you have this... Um, basically, two meters is from here to here. And every four meters I created a notch that's easily visible over here. Then I can easily um, determine the distance. Okay, so, <clears throat> and I put nice um, targets over here, the skull on the stick, and one over here. I'm going to take care of these uh, visitors, so we can continue the tutorial. It's one of the easiest ways to actually um, use archery. You don't need much practice for it. It's just get really close to them, and just aim at the head and let go. Because um, the character animations are a bit stiff for humans, which means they're really easy to line up a headshot. Okay, so come over here. Come on. Okay, now with the wooden bow, two uh, printed arrows, center mass, will kill a regular sized human cannibal. Male one. Okay, then we have this useless guy over here. Uh, yeah, that's the guy that was with you in the helicopter. So some supposed special operations team, suppo hired by to buy the buy a billionaire or hired to find a billionaire. And he's like really super useful. Look at this guy. Okay, so <clears throat> but here I place some place some ba uh, base defense on the archery range. I, I use my I call them hedgehogs because you can like scatter them, and when enemies try to dodge uh, or get away from you, they just run into them most of the time. And here's some linear base defense and some feathers you can get from the birdhouse. Just get free feathers uh, every few minutes or something. I hope this guy's going to leave me alone here. <laughs> I keep this in the video and I didn't practice it. Okay, I'll try to keep the video uncut from the start to this point. Just so you know the archery works once you practice it. <laughs> They had shot like 50 meters. Oh yeah. And once you get used to it, it's like it's really easy to land accurate shots. Look at this. Okay, so let's start with uh, the measurement system. First, I need this useless guy over here. Come on, Kevin, why? I think he was he was that stupid before the helicopter crash. Okay, I need you to follow me. That's the first thing, uh, measuring system. I'm going to show you. Um, you're going to use him as a measuring stick, basically. So, a really nice place for the archer ranger pick because it's a, a very flat area. And towards the river, it's high cliff, so they can, enemies can get in from here. And from here, you can easily see them coming. Yeah, come here, Kevin. I need to time this correctly so he stands still next to that thing. Come on, get closer. Uh, still a little bit closer, come on. 
Det är klasser, det är klasser. No, no, no. Ah. Okay, that's good enough. No. Stay exactly here. Yeah, how did this guy get on the helicopter on the team? I don't get it. Okay, so. Yeah, as you can see here. He's an upright standing male human, so probably body height 1, eight, one meter 80. Yeah, so his center mass of his head is about uh, at the edge between the fourth and the fifth log over here. Notice also here the head on the stick is actually not a headshot or from, from a standing person. It's basically the center of mass of the torso, which is the heart and the lungs, okay? The most critical part you want to hit, which is ideally um, a good practice target you can have. Okay, now we don't need you anymore. And no, I'm not going to use him as a practice target. <laughs> I want to keep it immersive, okay? Although some people might find it immersive to abuse him. Right. Like, he's completely useless. He, even Virginia is more useful. I gave him my, my pistol. She's now doing perimeter defense. Sometimes I just go get water and I hear gunshots in the distance. And she's taking care of the, the cannibals. Okay, so... In the game, there's two bows and I think one crossbow. And this guy is going to be about the two bows. The crossbow is going to be a separate video, I think. First, I'm going to test the wooden bow, and I'm going to use wooden arrows. And there's three types of arrows. You have stone arrows, 3D printed ones. Those are the ones you get in the bunker when you use a printer. And then there's these carbon fiber ones. I think they're extremely rare. You also get them in the bunker and some other rare places. Let's start with this stone arrow. So now, the next complex problem you have, depending on the bow and the arrow size... Yeah, just... Yeah, if he comes, he's gonna get it. Okay, so anyway. <clears throat> so this is my shooting range position. And the target over here, the wall is... You see here, two, uh, four meters is one notch. Four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two. Am I, am I counting this right? Wait a minute. 4, 8, 12, 16, yeah, I'm, I'm. Okay, so 60 meters over here. Did I actually get it right? 4, 8, uh, okay. So the, the first problem you have is if you aim, you don't know exactly where the screen center is, and your mouse will wobble around to the center area. The good news is it will remain around that center and recenter itself after the shot. It means if I shoot right now, let go, it will remain at that point. Okay, so, well, that doesn't help you if you try to, to actually acquire the target. Also, basic thing is if you hold that left mouse, you don't want to shoot, you press right mouse, and then you let go of left mouse. So let's say I want to hit that head. Now, what I've figured out is to put the top right corner of the arrow on where I want to aim. That's that's basically a horizontal, that's your horizontal um, uh, aim direction, the aim vector you want, you want to hit. Also make sure that you're actually lined up in one line like this, because if you line up like this and you rotate, you're completely messing up your geometry. Okay, so stay like this. I'm going to fire three shots and see what happens. Fire one. Two. Great. As you can see, it doesn't even reach the target. Let's see what happens here. Come on. Get away. See here, my horizontal alignment was great. See, it's, it's perfectly aligned, which means the horizontal alignment corner of the arrow, that's where you aim at with a wooden bow, by the way, and that type of arrow. If you use other types of arrows and bows, it, it's going to be uh, very different. Yeah, take the arrows again. I don't know where the third one ended up. Did I pick it up already? Yeah, I still have enough, so. Okay, so. As you can see, um, there's practically no way to hit from there until, unless I use Kentucky windage. And if you don't know what it is, it's basically uh, YOLO aiming above it until you get it right. <laughs> so you can practice to use wooden arrows at a distance and just try the same. But I promise, the moment you aim really high, you lose sight of the target. So it's, it's impractical. Okay? So let's, let's try to get a bit closer. Now we're at 8, 12 meters instead of 16 meters. Let's see what happens now. Oh, 
we know. Now the shot group is relatively tight, as you can see. But by me still too low. You know, let's go here, that's eight meters. Yeah, eight meters. Incredible. Remember, this is not a head we're aiming at. An upright standing human that will be the center of mass of the torso. As you can know, it's really close. It would still hit the lower torso. So center of mass shots. And two or three of those, you can down most enemies. Okay, so within eight meters, that's a practical shot. Now, what's eight meters if you're not on, if you're not on the shooting range? Well, that's a difficult question. So what I would, what I would do is look at the shape of the arrowhead, okay? And if it covers the chest of... Like, if it covers from left to right shoulder, if he's pacing you like this, then you're probably within range to let go, and... Boink. Yep. Yeah. I got it right horizontally, but uh, vertically, but not horizontally. Okay, so let's remember that. If it's within 8 meters, cover the arrow on, on the target's chest and let go, and it will fit. Okay, now let's try the second arrow type. Also, this video is probably going to be a bit longer than others, so I think it's it's important to elaborate on the concept. So you can tell me in the comments if, if I should keep something shorter or, or keep it longer or something. Okay, now the next arrow type, which is the most useful one, is 3D printed arrow, because you can print them in large quantities, and you will see what they can do. Okay, let's see. Now the thing is, notice here, the, the arrowhead has just changed. I want, how do we learn to aim that? So uh, for this, usually I take the same thing. Take the top edge of the arrowhead. Yeah, I'm not completely aligned. Notice that I'm, I'm a bit aiming to the, to the right over here. As you can see, I aim to the right too much. And I missed the head. Shot like half the body above the gun. Which means that arrow has a uh, much bigger range. Take care of this guy. I can just scare it away. Okay, let's try again now. As you can see, if you shoot this arrow at center mass at that distance, you're just going to overshoot. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to aim at the feet of the target. And I'm going to keep the tip... Actually, I'm making sure I'm lined up correctly. Again, tip, aim at the feet, see what happens. Shots. Back off. Yeah, I think if you face them, they back off again. I don't want to kill them because it's probably going to attract more of them. You see, much tighter group, or slightly tighter group, and I'm already undershooting, which means aiming at half the stick, which means... Uh, get away. Get away, bro. Okay, so... <clears throat> Where was I? Uh, okay, so... If we're aiming too low, if we're aiming for the feet. So let's say at 60 meters, which is a considerable, that's like a big distance in the normal combat situations in this game. So I would aim at half the stick, which is about, as remember, aim below the belt buckle. Okay, that's below belt buckle, upper thigh, between the knees and the belt buckle, okay? What is he doing? Okay, so let's try this again. Again, aim half the stick. Align correctly, aim half the stick. Point the arrow. See, it's wiggling around the center point. So you have to, like, mess it up left, right a bit. It's going to mess around left and right all the time. See, I'm, I'm not correctly aligned with the target. Well, uh, again, horizontally, uh, vertically, it, it's a perfect hit on center mass. Oh, sit this gone. See. So let's let's um, to remember it. At sixteen meters, arrow tip half the stick, which just means uh, knee uh, up, aim upper legs, and you're gonna you're gonna hit center mass. And if you aim the belt buckle, you're probably hitting right in the head. However, the dispersion is might might get in the way. That's for the three D printed arrows with the wooden bow because the composite bow. Causes some extra complications. Okay, now we go for the carbon fiber. You see, the tip looks a bit different. It's shorter and, and blacker. Okay, let's try again. Aim for the center mass. Okay, 
These things are so rare, I only have like three or four of them right now. Okay, you can see here, oh, this, is, this thing is overshooting quite a lot. Which means it has a higher velocity and, and energy, I would guess. Because this, this thing is, is massively overshooting. So for this one, I'm going to try to... I'm going to see if the aim for the feats. Tip. Can we aim for the feet? Oh, see. It's, it's, the thing is, once you aim at the feet, you're also aiming closer to the ground, which means the ballistic trajectory is, is, not, is um, accelerated towards the ground, which means it doesn't overshoot as much. It actually looks almost it doesn't overshoot compared to the printed arrows. But if you shoot them vertically and horizontally, like even to the ground, uh, the difference is like half a meter. This will be amplifying the you amplifying any error you make if you're aiming too high at all. Let's try this again. Let's go half stick. Probably slightly above it, isn't it? Yeah. This would be hatches, not as horizontally they were perfectly lined up. Should have, would have shot him in both ears basically. Not that it would matter for Kelvin. Um, okay. We can find Sometimes the arrows actually um, I think they, they bounce off and fall somewhere else. I've seen that happen. So probably won't find that arrow again. I hope I have more than three of those. Okay, so as you can see, half stick, slightly below half stick, you're gonna hit in the head. So it's similar. So my recommendation is, um, if you're shooting really close range, you don't need nothing else than, than stone arrow, unless it's a powerful enemy, because you can just walk up to him, shoot him in the head. If you need some range fire, I think the printed ones are your best bet, because you can get them in huge quantities. Now comes the other ball. This is the composite ball. Now let's try wooden arrows again. Okay, same thing. Aim. Now see, the view is completely different again. See that? You don't have the same arrow shape to, to, to use it. You have to relearn the aiming system. Now for this one, I'm going to again paint it with the, well, the right edge of the thing. See what happens. I actually find it easier to aim with the wooden bow than this one. Again, horizontally, a slight amount to the left. I can't find a third arrow. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, wait. Oh, there's the carbon fiber from area. No, wait, it was from the wooden arrow test. With the wooden uh, thing. Okay. <clears throat> now we have the same problem. As you can see, it doesn't actually give you much, it doesn't actually give you more velocity using the wooden arrow with the better bow. If you noticed uh, on the previous test, it would end up in the wooden stick anyway. So we probably have to do the same thing, like... Um, Eight meters, paint the chest, oink. See here? Mm -hmm. That's still center mass chest, but it's uh, slightly long. And if you're aiming head, basically paint the body part you want to hit at eight meters and boink. You get him. Now at eight meters, um, this bow is sort of like a range finder. You see the vertical structure as well. Let's say you're shooting at eight meters, so you're looking at a target. How do you know you're within eight meters of a target? Okay, so you point the you point the uh, thing at the feet. Now look for a reference point on the bow geometry itself. Or you can do this trick, like you go over here. Like you measure, put the feet on this uh, left thing of the bow. Basically, you memorize uh, or take any shape, any part of the shape of the bow. That you can like clamp it in, so it, it rec it's recognizable. But see, see that bend over here. Like, it, it, assume the bird is my mouse pointer. Okay, that bird over there. Let's take a top of the skull. Well, well, at this bird now. So you see the bend in the bow. It touches the bird. It's the upper clamp, and the arrow is somewhat the lower clamp. And if the target is, it's still a bit too large of a clamp. So notice here. Uh, I'm putting my thing over here. And notice. On the inside geometry of the skeletal geometry that touches the skull. 
That's your 8 meter mark. Actually, wait, I forgot. The skull is not the head, the skull is just the chest. So if you aim like that, the head would be see, touching the bow, uh, the bird is over here. Which means about where the bend starts is your 8 meter frame. So let's say you have pointed the feet. And if the head is somewhere close to that bend over here, you're within 8 meters approximately, and you will. Then you point and you hit a bit higher. Okay, but basically you, you memorize uh, the shapes against the bone, that's your range finding system. Okay, now let's use the uh, printer bow. Now for this I have to actually elongate the shooting range target because the range is, is significantly higher. Okay, so let's go over here. Again, now let's say I want to hit right over here. Now it's a bit more difficult, you, don't, you cannot use this edge, this point. Actually I'm going to use it just to show you what happens. Again, I'm not moving the mouse, I'm just shooting the next shot. Because it will wobble around the same point all the time if you don't move the mouse. That happens. Oh, see? Overshooting. <laughs> really bad. Uh, again, I was aiming over here and I was basically twice overshooting. I think I was shooting slightly off to the left. Okay, so what do we want to do? This is basically... Um, this is... Uh, wait, am I doing this right? 4, 8, 6, 16... That's 32 meters distance over there. Okay, now let's try this again. Again, if I aim here, I'm going to end up twice the distance. Well, if I aim at the, at the feet, it accelerates the downward gravity curve ballistic thingy. So uh, I'm going to aim slightly above the feet, and I'm also going to... You see that horizontal part of the left, the left, uh, not the right, the right wing part of the, of the arrowhead. Take about one third, about one third into it, like this. And then go down, aim at the feet. Okay, so the arrowhead point is at the, f slightly above the feet, like this. Let's see what happens. Notice here the dispersion of the shots. They basically center around the target. This, this was basically grazed his head. This was slightly off to the, to the left. And where is the other arrow? This one. And it's kind of weird. Why is it falling short? Maybe I let go of the arrow too, too fast. As you can see here, um, remember, aim for the feet, lower legs, and one third of the arrowhead. Okay, one third of the arrowhead. On the right, and let go, and you probably land center of mass shots. And this is, a, this is an extreme distance for this game. But it's extremely rewarding if you actually land a shot like that. Okay, let's try it again. Again, aim for the feet up here. Because notice that that wiggle can throw you off by like a meter at that distance. Okay, so one third of the arrow hand. Need to, need to sort of find out where the center of the wiggle point is. Yes, and off we go. But did I just shoot the, shoot the, the bird off the thing? Let's see what we land. <laughs> yep, I shot the bird off the off the thing because you see the floating arrows, the uh, floating uh, feathers. That means you shot you shot the bird. <laughs> so yeah, there you have it, I think. That's a good um, demonstration shot, isn't it, for the end of the video? Um, shooting a bird off at... Yeah, that's 32 meters. And the bird is smaller than a human head, so... I'm really proud of that shot. But as you can see, the dispersion of the shot, or the MOA circle, is quite a bit wider over here.